weeks ago at Computex, Qualcomm announced a ton of Snapdragon X Elite laptops, and they all promised some really impressive battery life, with one having almost 27 hours, some having 18. I mean, when you hear that as a Windows user, you're going, thank God, battery life, impressive. But this video is not about if a laptop can last 18 or 27 hours. This video is if simply this, can I take a 12 hour plus flight and have enough battery life to do work without and watch content without actually charging it? Or if I forget my charge for whatever reason. And that's what I did here. So I finished from Computex, I went to Tokyo, myself and my wife, had a little vacation, it was fun, met up with Danny Wingett and his family, as well as also uh, JV Tech T. It was great to just hang out with friends, chill. It was an awesome time, it was great. But of course I had to come back and I had to catch a flight. Now the laptop I'm using here is the VivoBook S15 from Asus. This thing is pretty slick. This is a Snapdragon X Elite laptop. Um, very nice overall in terms of build. This is not a review of the laptop yet. Again, I am just using it for battery life purposes. And just give you a natural, natural test of battery life here. But we've got a ton of ports, two USB type C ports on the left hand side, 40 gigabits per second, full HDMI on the right, two USB type A ports, five gigabits per second, which is cool. I wish I had SD card slot, but I digress from there. Now you've got a really comfy keyboard. Honestly, that really stood out for me on this laptop. I was shocked, shocked how good this keyboard felt. But one of the best I've used in years. Uh, the screen isn't touch screen, but it's a 3K OLED display. Very nice, uh, DCI-P, you know, color rated. Uh, nice trackpad, Dolby Atmos in the speakers, but hey, I'm gonna be on a flight, so I don't need that. I just need to connect my headphones, and that's where we start this journey. I'm on my flight, I've got some shows to watch. I went ahead and downloaded some stuff on Amazon Prime Video, full season of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the first season, and of course, Jack Ryan. And first off, this, this display is bright enough, especially while watching content. Doesn't matter where you're watching uh, shows or some YouTube videos as well. And I went ahead and I did that. I, I watched content on the flight. I wanted to see how well that actually handled. Now, I will tell you this, on the flight itself, I was able to connect to the internet and also watch YouTube videos. So I spent some time watching YouTube videos and also watching my shows. And you know what, let's just take a look. In-flight update for you guys. I have been using the Google Book S15 throughout this flight. So I started off, I watched, uh, watched the show and then my downloads just didn't so that was fine. I was able to connect to the internet and watch a ton of YouTube videos, um, and uh, then I went to bed. So I kind of watched for about like three hours or so, crashed for a bit, did some work when I woke up, and then I watched it again. Uh, what about like 12 hours, 32 minutes left on the flight? So using the laptop, I can safely say that uh, I can use it for a long flight for about like 12 hours. I uh, had like 40% of battery life left uh, with the watching content and music. I started at 4%, so you can see where that actually lands. But you know, this is pretty cool. Um, as a Windows user, I like this experience. I like the fact that I don't have to charge it. I've been charging my phones, the iPhone, my Galaxy, everything else except the laptop. So that's cool. But I wanted to just kind of give you that entertainment. So um, I landed here in Toronto and uh, laptop's still working. Battery life is down to 14%. Uh, I started at 84, it was a 12 hour flight. I watched uh, around seven to eight episodes of shows uh, and then about maybe two hours worth of YouTube content uh, on here. And uh, that was pretty good. I mean, this is not a scientific test. Did some work as well. So I was some work browsing for another like two hours or so. Uh, I can safely say uh, this will get you at least through a 12 hour flight without any issues. So take it as you will. Very intriguing. So you can take a 12 hour plus flight and still have enough battery life. Now, this is a full day, as I'm recording this right now, this is a full day after I landed and I haven't charged the laptop and my battery life still is at 13%. Standby time on this laptop is impressive. Once I got to Toronto, I recorded that video for you guys, that section. I put the back laptop back, had to hop on my next flight to come back home, and that was it. Crashed, came back, had a ton of packages, and now I'm recording this, and I have 13% uh, 13 uh, standby time, which is good. 
which indicates that they've done something really impressive here, especially watching content. Now, this is what, remember, I did start from 84% battery life, and I'm here, I'm at 13. This is a, bu a bunch of hours later, I'd watch a ton of YouTube videos and also watched, you know, a bunch of shows. Now, this is not scientific, I'm not claiming, I haven't actually fully measured, but I can safely say, safely, that you can jump on a plane with a Snapdragon X Elite laptop, something like the Asus ViewBook S15, and catch a 12 hour plus flight as long as you have 100% battery life, you can watch as much content as you want and you will be fine. So that's my conclusion in this video. I wanted to test it out uh, and I think we had a good time with Windows laptops. Now, I do have to test this laptop out fully in terms of um, apps, what apps work, how it handles different things, especially editing video, playing video games. You know I got to do that. All that fun stuff. That's what I will show you when I do a full review on either the Asus VBook S S15 or other laptops that are in the Snapdragon X Elite range. But if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment. Seriously, man. That's impressive. Finally, for Windows users.